and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. say you're getting rather good, Orko, and I can see there's been a definite change for the better. Yeah, and you're even cleaning up after yourself now, and that's a real change. What do you mean, change? I'm the same as I've always been. You just never appreciated me, and besides, people don't change. The weather changes, not people. Well, don't know that I agree with that, old buddy. People can change. I hate to tell a prince he's wrong, but Adam, you couldn't be wronger. People are what they are. The good stay good, and the evil are always evil. And I'd like to see somebody prove me wrong. You're wrong! Absolutely wrong, Silverline! Not this time. It's not too late for me to change. I've had enough, Gorgon. You've had me destroy everything that was good and beautiful here on the Isle of Tears, and I will do no more. What's that? You'll do as I say, and that's final. I give the orders on this island. No! No more spells, no more floods, no more fiery monsters. I was once a good sorceress, and like a fool, I let you turn me into an evil one. You're still a good sorceress. Good and evil! <laughs> oh, to think I helped you overthrow King Dunt. You could always join him in the dungeon. I'm not afraid of you anymore, Gorgon. We'll see about that! Your sorcery is better spent on our enemies! You are the enemy, and I'll see no more of your evil reign. God! God! Throw her in with Danton! If you feel so sorry for the king, I'll let you join him in the dungeon! So, now the great Gorgon is even jailing his evil friends. He's no friend, King Danton, and I realize now you are never my enemy. A little late for that, Sibylline. We're both his prisoner now. Maybe it's not too late. I think I have enough magic to leave this dungeon, but where could I go? Who could I get to help us? Well, if you really changed your ways, Sibylline, there's always King Randor and He-Man. They'd help. Of course. I would go to Eternia. I must convince them that I want to make up for what I have done in the past. That may be difficult. There is much to forgive. I must try. Oh, I wish I had enough magic to set you free. I've waited years for something like this. I can wait a little longer. Let's just hope they believe you. Now go, quickly. I'll return, Majesty, to see you back on the throne. Your people don't change. Adam's late again. Sorry I'm late. I guess I overslept. I received a message from Sibylline the Sorceress today. Sibylline? What does she want? She asked for our help against Gorgon. She says she's changed. Changed? Sibylline's been one of Eternia's most evil creatures. But if she's asking for our help, how can we refuse her request? Easy. We say no. Hey, she's bad. I've heard about her. She once turned a whole army to little fish with feet. Ugh. It took the sorceress of Grayskull to turn them back. Orko, we must listen to all who ask for help. 
anyone. I have asked her to come here. She is to be treated with all courtesy. I have a bad feeling about her. Don't worry, little buddy. You'd look good as a fish, <laughs> especially with feet. Your Majesties, I thank you both for seeing me. You've shown great trust in opening your doors to one who once opposed you. Our goal is for a united and peaceful universe. We first must start with Eternia. And you are welcome here. I think I'd better keep an eye on her. King Danton was loved by his people, but Gorgon has made the people his slaves, and I have helped him. I was wrong. Slavery is a terrible thing. It is indeed. But I have changed, and things can change. King Danton is still alive, but he is Gorgon's prisoner. Together we could free him. Then we will do that. Looks like our work is cut out for us. If she can be trusted, and even if she can't. I missed you here, Evelyn, because there is no sorceress more evil than you. Thank you, Gorgon. But to your problem, who would have thought Sibylline would go off to the other side? Let's see what she's up to, shall we? What could we possibly do to make them think Sibylline is still evil? That should be easy enough. It appears that the little one doesn't trust her. We'll double that feeling with a little flying dragon action. Great, great, great! I love flying dragons! Sibylline. I am your humble servant. And she zaps the dragon right into a cage. I tell you, she knew it was coming. She set this all up. Where could a dragon come from around here? I'll tell you. I just checked. A dragon escaped from the royal zoo. And if it hadn't been for Sibylline, there's no telling what might have happened. Well, little buddy, maybe you're wrong. No, nope, I'm right. I still think she did it. something now. Sibylline, that's who. I had better check the guards. I think it's time to visit our sorceress. And time for me to check on Sibylline. <laughs> Sibylline is a powerful sorceress, and I'd rather have her as a friend than an enemy. But is she a friend? She is Gorgon's enemy now, and with her help, he can be defeated. Then she has our trust. We must give her the chance to prove she has changed, and that even within evil lies the possibility for good. We'll give Sibylline her chance. Never seen such a storm. It, it's a flood. Help! Help! Hold on, Urko. I'm on my way. By the power of Grey Skull. Float, Orko!
you doing down here? I was following Semeline, but she disappeared just before the flood. It's over, Orko. The storm is over. I don't believe it. The storm has gone as fast as it came. As if by magic. She did it. She caused it. I'm a magician and I can feel magic. Bad magic. You have no proof, Orko. But your majesty, you've seen what happened since she got here. It certainly seems like sorcery to me. There's still no proof. And until there is some, we must work for peace at all costs. Your concern is real, Orko. These events are indeed magical, but not by my magic. Who's there? I don't know. But my guess is it comes from the Isle of Tears. You must go with Sibylline to the Isle of Tears and help break the rule of the tyrant Gorgon and return Danton to his throne. Ah, just what everybody needs, a magical island holiday. <laughs> Your plan is working perfectly, Evelyn. <laughs> yes. Not only will we bring Sibylline to her knees, but we'll get He-Man, too. <laughs> and I'll make Sibylline beg me for forgiveness. I'm sorry I came along. This place is creepy. Follow me. This is the entrance to my secret workshop. I think your secret workshop isn't a secret anymore. It doesn't matter. What does matter is freeing King Danton and ridding this island of Gorgon's rule. This will take us to Danton's dungeon. That this is a trap. I can feel it. Oh, hush, Orko. Step softly. The gods have sharp ears. Don't have to worry about me. I'm not even touching the ground. See? <laughs> King Danton should be nearby. There's his cell. This sure feels funny. All right, ready yourselves. He's in there, and unguarded, too. <laughs> ah, Sibylline, I'd hoped you'd come back. And you brought He-Man. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be rescued. That's why Sibylline brought us. Now we'll remove Gorgon from the throne and free the Isle of Tears. And return King Danton to his rule of the kingdom. It was a trick. I told you. Welcome home, Sibylline. You've played your part perfectly, just as you and I planned. So Orko was right. Sibylline tricked us. Wait. Let's hear Sibylline's side. I have been honest with you. I have not tricked you. Gorgon is lying. He wants you to think I am still evil. I know it is hard to believe, but I want to right the wrongs I've done. Gorgon, I have come back to help replace you with the real king. Replace me? Well, then I'm afraid you'll have to spend the rest of your days in that dungeon with your new friends, because I no longer need your aid. Isn't that right, Evelyn? That's right, Sibylline. Even He-Man can't break through two feet of solid steel. Evelyn! Oh, then that explains all the magic. You must believe me, He-Man. This has been their doing. They wanted you to mistrust me. They didn't think I would get another chance. I believe you. They were wrong about our not giving you a chance to change. And they were wrong about something else. Two feet of solid steel, you say? Ladies and gentlemen.
ladies first. My lasso line. Good idea. That about ties it up, Father. Thanks, Sibyline. Anytime. Time being. And now let's find Gorgon. This way. What now, Evelyn? What now? <laughs> Do something! They'll be here any second. They'll never get through that door. My magic will keep them out. But you've locked out my guards, too! You fool! I'm here! We don't need any guards! The others are at the front door, but I thought we'd use the bank way. Guards! Guards! I'll get Gorgon! is no match for mine, Sibylline. Give up now and return to your master, Gorgon. Not to Gorgon and never to you. Then you leave me no choice. <laughs> I was afraid of your magic once, Evelyn, but no longer. I have the strength of the truth behind me now. We'll see about that. <laughs> now, Sibylline, we shouldn't be fighting. We've always been such good friends. I'd rather be changed into a bug than call myself your friend. Well, <laughs> if that's what you want. They just don't make doors like they used to. Evelyn, do something! I'm about to, but not for you. Can't we talk this over? With Gorgon now answering for his crimes, the Isle of Tears sheds only tears of joy, thanks to He-Man and all of you. Especially you, Sibylline. And I hereby pardon your past misdeeds and welcome you to our new future. I could never have accomplished all of this without my new friends. And I hope I can count you, Orko, among my new friends. I'd like that. You see, Orko, all people are capable of change. And we must always be open and willing to give them the chance to change. Of course, as I've always said, people can change. You what? Hey, anyone want to see some magic? Yeah, I think you better do your disappearing act. Sometimes I feel that I am not appreciated. 
See you later, folks. <laughs> See you later, little buddy. As you saw in today's story, people can change. Right, Tila. Sibylline had always been an evil sorceress, but she was able to change her ways for the better. Maybe there's something about yourself that you don't like. A bad habit, maybe. It's easy to say, I can't change. But the truth is, you can change almost any behavior if you really want to. And the first step is saying to yourself, I can. <laughs>